venait sortir de son cœur. Je te donnais mon cœur, et maintenant c'est la guerre. Just nice. So welcome back to the channel today. I'm with my girl Cassandra, and she's also from Cameroon. Yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a mukbang, mukbang, you know, African style. And we have Eru. Yeah. Okay. And also we have um, Gary Fufu. Right there. You guys, know. if you are today. African, especially from Nigeria or Cameroon, then you already you know. know what we're about to do. Yeah. So um, yeah. So we want to tell them a little bit about you. What we are serving ourselves. Um. Well, my name is Cassandra. I have a sister YouTube channel, even though we've been kind of inactive for like a month, but we'll be there. Um, I live in MD, which is land. We've been friends for like a year, maybe. Two years, because remember it was before you came in vacation. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. So a little more than two years. But we got closer like in the past six months. Yeah. And yeah, so we're about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm serving myself. Let me just it looks super like good. good. By the way, I eat this with my hands, okay? I eat, I eat this with my forks, and it's not about being bougie or whatever. I just, I just and don't like me, it all in my hands. And for me, to start, I want to put my hair back. Ooh! Are you gonna fight? Yeah, I'm about to kill it. <laughs> yes, I'm about to kill it. And we're drinking water today. Yeah. So this, we're just gonna be talking about, you know, water. being. Oh snap! Sorry. We also, we're just gonna be talking about like um, being starting a YouTube channel, you know. You know, mm -hmm. the pros struggles, yeah, you know, pros and cons, yeah, mm -hmm. of starting a YouTube channel. So. And we're also going to be talking about, you know, our thoughts as Africans, you know, and being here on YouTube and, you know, the way people think about it and the way we feel like people should start looking at YouTube, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, let me take this rest because I know I'll get some more. Oh, this looks super good. I can't wait. Let's see my plate. Yeah. And that's her plate. Hi, plate. Yeah. So, first is for me. Lord bless the food and the enemy bones made it and protect us from all negativity and God us for the sin, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, I hope you guys were praying with us. Okay, okay let's read. let's get ready. I eat with my hands. And by the way, my hands were already washed before, you know, all this. So don't don't cut me on the comments. So. The way I eat it, like I like I cut it with my finger, and I go like this. I make like a little dough, and then I take the sauce, and I. How to eat mm. like a Nigerian one on one? Mm mm mm. Yeah, we need to make a channel of that. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I just get it on my fork and I put it on my mouth. Yeah, I should just use a fork. So yeah, um, what are the like struggles of starting your channel? I would say, um, I mean, just starting the YouTube channel for the first time was a hard ass thing for me mm -hmm. because I didn't really see myself as that person. Like I used to watch other YouTubers, and I was like, I kind of felt like you needed a sort of particular personality like you need to be outgoing and stuff and I can be that at times but I'm not always that person so it's really hard for me mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah so you, you thought like you were <laughs> I, need, I need to eat <laughs> you need to eat it's so good so Mm -hmm. I believe so, like you thought you weren't that person to be out there. Like exactly. That. But with the help of my sister, like I um I'm on the channel with my sister, like it's a joint channel and she's kind of that person, so it sort of like motivated me to be because like I'm not saying that I'm shy or that I don't make friends or that I never laugh and stuff, but I'm that person but it's so hard for me to be the center of attention and you're sort of the center of attention on YouTube all the time. So it was kind of hard for me, but then after the first like two videos, it was like, oh my gosh, I kind of like this. People used to comment on the on the videos. Mm -hmm. My friends used to write to me like, oh my gosh, Cassandra, you're so funny. You're this, you're that. I love watching you guys. Mm -hmm. like, oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. And then 
when you when you actually start this because we, we started our channel like january february so we had school my sister ha obviously she has work but i had school and it was like horrible not horrible but it was it was really hard, hard. to like mm -hmm. balance the two because i do like all of the editing and it was just really hard to like balance school work um extracurricular activities and youtube so yeah you should think about all of that before you start a channel what about yeah you? so me it was more so of um putting myself out there and thinking about what people, what, what people had to say about me you know because i started my channel years ago like i believe i was like um 18 like three years ago and i started my channel and I wasn't as consistent as I'm trying to be now, but it was so hard because whenever I would tell someone I have a channel or someone would find my, my YouTube video on YouTube, they used to like try to like be funny, you know, and it used to kind of affect me. But then I, I, started, I started getting the paycheck from YouTube and I started, you know, get like seeing, you know, people liking my content. I started not caring about what people had to say about me. Mm -hmm. But then, um, it's actually very hard when you start YouTube because when you don't see the numbers or you don't see I know it's not about the numbers but when you don't see it it kind of gets you discouraged and if you're starting a YouTube or if you want to start a YouTube just make sure you start it now don't wait because that's also a mistake a lot of people do like the time that you're waiting you could be like already like having a viral video just like that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you don't know what video will push it out there you know it could be this video of us eating it could be like a video that her not gonna film like tomorrow or so like it could be like you don't know the video so it could be your first video that's that's like booming out there and you know yeah so yeah for me it was really hard because people weren't supporting me so guys the video got stopped you know because my battery my um memory card was full so i just like erased seven videos on my video card so we are back on it yeah so yeah, it was hard for me because i felt like no one understood what i was doing even though i myself was like a bit confused about the youtube world but i feel like no one was like supporting me so that was the hardest part so before you start the youtube channel make sure like you don't care about people supporting you honestly because you either you make sure you either have a good support system mm -hmm. because okay. everybody needs a support system no matter how tough you are so mm -hmm. make sure you have a good one and if you don't just make sure other people's opinions on you about youtube doesn't get to you yeah because it could really mess you up like i remember like so many times i wanted to give up yeah, you guys saw it. I just added someone. But yeah, so many times I wanted to give up because of what people were telling me. Or, you know, me feeling like I wasn't getting the support I needed. So, yeah. Now let's talk about our life, like our studies, you know. Summer is ending soon. What are some advice you're giving to people going back to school? And, you know, based on what I you're going through, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Based on what I'm going through, I would say, um, pray a lot research because like there's so many opportunities in this life especially in the in developed countries like i know there's so many things i can do here that i would probably not be able to do as extensively or as easily as um as if i live in cameroon mm -hmm. so really research like you may think that you want to do a certain thing maybe because of opinions of other people like in your family or close friends That's, yeah but like I'm sure a hundred percent that there's always gonna be something in this world that we you would be good at. Mm -hmm. Like look at look at like look at like people in this generation. People actually do YouTube full time. For like me, that's yeah. their job. Mm -hmm. You know. So there's always gonna be something. I I think I I was on Twitter today and I saw a tweet that said Kylie Jenner makes like a million dollars off of one Instagram post. So. Wow. That's so crazy. So like the world has evolved, like things have changed. You, the only, like, how can I say this? Like you don't only are considered as successful or like rich if you if you follow the traditional steps. I'd say like just school, yeah, or and stuff like just research really. And there's probably things in this world that you'll be good at, and you may not know them yet. So research. What else? Um, work on your confidence. Yeah, that's like general advice. Yeah, because um, in school, like you're gonna meet some people that will like try to tear you down too. There's just some people, like, especially if you're not in college yet. You know, when you're in high school, middle school, people are just so childish. So 
<laughs> if you are going to high school or you are in middle school, whatever the case is, make sure like you are very confident, like you said, because some people will try to like break you, and if you eventually fall for it, for it, you're probably gonna like lose your self-esteem and so on. And if you are starting school, um, I mean, you are getting ready to start back with school. I feel like um, my, the advice I give is, as a freshman, if you are going to high school. Start strong as a freshman. If you are going to college, start strong. Always start strong. Yeah, because sometimes yeah, in the beginning, everything is easy. You know, I don't need to study much. You know, right. so yeah, my advice to going back to school this semester. I mean, this um, semester for me because I'm in college. But yeah, it's like in September, is for you guys to focus and you know forget about you know the gossip, forget about the um, he said she said thing. Forget about little boyfriends if you're in middle school. You don't need that really because y'all most likely not gonna end up together. Let's be let's be real, you know. Mm, I'd not say that. Most likely no. Okay, That's okay, the truth. Okay, most likely. Like I said, y'all most likely not gonna end up. Let's not sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. High school still hard to be kind of, you know, at the tip of the fingers. So yeah. Don't focus on all that. And make sure you know you do you. You focus on your studies because kids stay in school, okay? School is not always the way out, but yeah, make sure you stay in school until you find the way out. Mm -hmm. Of you know, making bread and not having to study. So yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I'm just eating bread. Yeah. What else? I know they have mentioned talking about how it feels to like move from the country to here. Oh. Like from. I know I've seen some comments like that on my oh. videos before. Like people want to know. Yeah, like how it feels oh, like that. Oh, it's That thing, yeah. It is hard. <laughs> <laughs> But it gets, it gets better until it's not hard anymore. Yeah. Until you tolerate the pain and the nostalgia, I'd say. And you just go with the flow. You make friends. Mm -hmm. You may even find lovers. You find interest in new things. Yeah. Or maybe the same things you used to like in the develop, developing country. And you, you keep doing those things. Maybe if you used to play volleyball in your homeland and you start playing volleyball here as well, or music, I don't know, you just, just with time, you just learn to adapt to the, situ the new situation you're in, mm -hmm. honestly, that's, that's just the greatest advice I could give, but it's hard, it's really hard. As you guys can see, we're almost done eating, I'm done. and the main reason why we really wanted to like, this is my mind because we wanted to like, you know, crush our plate, but you know, <laughs> while coming up with, I'm so serious, that's, that was the main reason, we wanted to eat, while coming up with some ideas. Oh, next time we should do the water and try not to laugh thing. Okay, that works. I'm, I'll wait really though. Okay. Uh, um, the name of the channel is Cassandra and Sarada. She's probably going to put the link or something because they're two really special first names. So yeah. So yeah, it's a sister um, channel. We basically just talk about ourselves. We're trying to be a little more, like a lot more consistent, I'd say. And yeah, so story times, tags, vlogs. Yeah. We're not really into the extreme YouTuber stuff like hauls and makeup um, tutorials and stuff. But yeah, that's just it. We're a, lot, we're a little bit more school-wise. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, my sister writes poems. I I just go to school, bro. I just <laughs> like school. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, which is actually yeah, I like school. I hope school likes me. I mean, up to now, school has been liking me. I just hope it keeps it it stays that way. So yeah. So any suggestions, um, comments? Hopefully, there'll be positive comments. And thank you. <laughs> Look at me, oh, so. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Well, I'm going to show them how to clean them. I know, right? Just lick them. Yeah. <laughs> you just lick them. And then you wash them afterwards. So, yeah. <sighs> this was great. Please, thank you. Oops. She's a Oh my god. You're not going to? Hi. So by the way, yeah, I'm about to go get um, a peel off um, chemical peel, peel facial done.
like I have my phone is like at 7 and it's like 6 40 so we better wrap it up and go I probably not vlog it because I you know I don't have my vlog camera with me when my friend borrowed it so he haven't returned it to me yet so I'll probably just be doing a whole video explaining to you guys how it goes and how it is and all that so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to see more mukbang with Cassandra and I, make sure you comment it down below. Also, don't forget to comment down below any type of video, any type of video you like us to film. Mm -hmm. I will make sure we do so for you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to edit this video much because, you know, we were just being ourselves, talking and eating, you know. If without a camera, this is how we will be talking and acting, you know. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's why most of the time we were quiet because we were, you know, smacking. Yeah, we were actually really busy. It's, it's great. It's, the food is really good. The food bomb. is so good. If you can go to an African restaurant and get this food, you should definitely. And make sure to do it right because some people just, mm, mm, some people don't shade. know how to make it. Yeah. <laughs> shade, right? <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. We love you so much. And don't forget to check out her channel, yeah, Cassandra and Andrea. I think the more people we get, the more we get them. They will, they will be as well. That's true. Okay. And make sure you guys go ahead and you know check them out you know mm -hmm. leave some comment you know give it a thumbs up to the videos and you know you know get thank them out you guys there. Thank you and so don't much. forget to also follow her on her social media platform that's um i just give it to you kc yuta instagram and youtube kc yuta kc you so, see the you see the video down yeah i also put it down below for her and also my, you guys already know i just send love everywhere instagram twitter and snapchat it will be linked in the description box down below. We love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Thank you guys. This video. Bye guys. Bye.